Is there anything around here? What are you all looking at? Oh, is that the thing that's gonna be unveiled on Sunday? Hmm. Hello? Maybe there's actually not much for us to do here, but we'll go check in at work anyway. Stuart, who doesn't want to talk to me? Hey, I can sit on the bench now. Music, Adam? Play something relaxing. And you're letting the bots do your work for you now? I had no idea how quickly a promotion could go to someone's head. I didn't come into work. Okay, you're thinking. I won't bug you. Is it because I didn't come into work yesterday? Can I ask you a really banal question? Do you believe our existence has any sort of purpose? <laughs> sure. I hope so. Yeah, right. Me, I strongly believe it. We're on our way like... A a point on a line, and the line keeps going. To where? That's the question. We're not at the final stop. We have a long way to go. Okay. <laughs> Thank you huh? for your... What? Thank you for your input. I have a good ear for music, and let's call the tongs and bones. You know me too well, dear. Talking to his wife? Oh. oh, you're thinking, Adam. I'm not gonna disturb you. Hey, Adam! Do you think there's any purpose in our life? <laughs> Jeez. I didn't come into work yesterday, right? Is that why people are kind of peeved at me? My workstation. I don't think there's actually much going on here, though. We could probably just go back home and send the fragments. It would be nice if I could get to talk to my wife a little bit, though. A little bit more? Oh, piece of garbage. These earthquakes are messing everything up. Sunday will be the end of them, hopefully. You really think so? You think the project will work and we'll all be allowed to leave the city? Yes, of course. Sure. Independence will be a success. It has to be. The question is, what should we do out there? I know I'll be staying here in the capital. Nowhere else is better than here. I should probably say thanks. Well, you earned it, Adam. You can head home, Adam. Take it easy. Yeah, I forget. You can head home, Adam. Take it easy. People around here don't even get mad at me for not working, because it's like a utopia. Okay, well, I'm gonna check out for the day then, even though I just came in five minutes ago. Sure, why not? Oh. Project Independence. I wonder if that statue outside will talk about it again. Because my boss just mentioned staying in the capital. So it's something to do with becoming independent from something. Are you going to talk again? Maybe not. Okay. Well, I guess we'll have a look around quickly anyway. Clinic. Liquid Sky. Is my wife still working on whatever this is? No, there's nothing here. It's all triangles for the... Yeah. I don't think my wife is here. Okay. We're out of here. Can I phone anybody? What? I'm blocking you now, Adam. I love you, but I'm going to block you. What? I just called you because it was the first time we talked in however long! Oh my god. Uh, later. What about the lawyer? Please hold. An employee from World Union Lawyers will be available in less than one minute. Okay, never mind. Connecting now. Never mind. I don't know why we have the lawyer on speed dial. Okay, well, uh, we can check out the clinic again. 
John should be there? They locked out the rooms and there is nobody who wants to talk to me here. Let's just go home and upload the last fragment. New entries on my hollow pin board. Even though I just came back? <laughs> Which one is it? Oh, this fragment is it? Richard probably didn't want me to see this. Seems like he's cheating on his wife with this strange Lydia. What does all of this lead me? Yeah, honestly, we were told that we were the same person as Richard, Adam, and then now we're just seeing random fragments of him cheating on his wife, like what? What does all of this actually mean? Nope. It's all the same, all the same. Yeah, alright, let's just put in the fragment then. Scan complete. Object ID recognized. Object sent successfully. Geolocation confidential. According to these entries, it could be some kind of laboratory. Maybe where they worked on Lydia. Okay, same thing again. Uh... <sighs> no, it has to be one of the other rooms. Okay, that looks better. Okay. This one looks kind of interesting too. Okay. A pod. Damn. Yeah, look at this one. What is this? That one definitely looks like a lab as well. That's not it. Here? Yeah. What the heck? There. I should upload it immediately. What is this? Okay. Hello, Richard. Okay, Jeff. I'm busy. What do you want? I want to talk about our agreement. What's there to talk about? Did something change? Yes, Richard. I'm afraid something has. The situation has gotten more... intense. You don't say. R Richard, you know Red One, the colony? You on know Mars. Mars, our future, last haven of mankind? My family's on Mars? Uh, no, no. They're not on Mars. How do I know? Because this is what the colony really looks like. Not a lot of future, is there? The entire Red One project's a fraud. A cover-up for something far bigger. How... what? Those people who get themselves scanned for Mars. We believe that sooner or later, they all end up in City 5. I thought we already kind of established this. Because why else would we have a... a scan that's exactly like me, Adam. Adam lives in City 5. Surely you're not just calling to show me some slideshows. What do you want from me? We need to adjust our strategy. That's where you come in. I don't get it. We're running out of time, Richard. It's too late for an undercover operation. Breakpoint must go into open conflict. It's time for an uprising. You mean... a civil war? Sorry, do that without me. Oh, no. Y you don't get out that easy, Richard. The uprising needs a voice. What do you want? Access to your account at The Voice. What for? The Breakpoint Manifesto. On The Voice in 48 hours. With my account? You must be crazy. What's in the manifesto? Nothing but the truth. I want to see it. I'll play it to you. I feel like I nearly completely forgot about this whole Breakpoint thing for the past however many hours. A digital fascism has won power over our lives. It dreams of a new humanity, a humanity without humans. 
It dreams of a new world, a world devoid of reality. Ah. Uh. A world without us. They promised that we would become one with the machines, the world spirit, the universe. They promised that we would become immortal. They promised to make gods of us. But they did not mean us. They meant themselves. They wanted to deify themselves at the price of our extinction. Breakpoint is leading the fight for biological humanity. We will not accept that we are replaced by AIs. We will not allow the guilty to close themselves off in gated communities. In virtual homelands, far away from the destruction zones they have left for us. Our bombing campaign has begun. Humanity is rising up. If you are with us, fight with us. It's already started. What happened to in 48 hours? You're insane. Do you think so? Aren't we writing exactly the same as you? I never tried to start a war. That's true. That was your biggest mistake. We don't just use words, Richard. We take action. Sorry. Without me, I'm not a murderer. No. You're a coward. However, you misjudge your situation. You can thank us for the fact that you're alive. If you don't cooperate, our deal is over. Think about it. I'll call you. Wait! What... What if they uploaded my family, just like they've uploaded me? Let's hope not, Richard. Uh... Okay? He heard the whole thing. What's wrong, Simon? You looking for something? Looking? No. Why do you ask? You're pacing up and down the place. Am I? I did not realize. I apologize, sir. You heard the cloud call, right? Of course you did. I'm sorry, sir. I could not avoid it. I know, of course, that you did not want me to. Hey, it happened. And? What do you think? I have too little information to make a judgment. I also have no right to make one. I'm still interested. As far as I understood, you talked with an extremist. Yes. You are being blackmailed. Yes, exactly. Will you give in, sir? I need these people. I understand. Do we actually need these people? I feel like I'm not sure. Unknown has sent you new data to your cloud hub. All right. So who do we betray this time? I'm really starting to feel like everything is getting super convoluted. Oh my god. Okay, three years ago. Long Island Robotics Lab. What's this now? A lab? Kazowski? Oh, am I one of the robots? On the rail? I think so. Testing speech module. Simon! Congratulations on purchasing this Base 5 Android. Preparing configuration. Configuration complete. Speech module testing successful. So, my friend, now you can speak. Look at me and say good day. Good evening, Jeff. I'm Simon, your Base 5 Home Assistant. Today is May 7th, 2040. It is 9.20 p.m. Room temperature 64 degrees Fahrenheit. How may I help you? Simon, did you make it? Section 1, did you... Yes, sir. And you have the data? Yes, sir. Ah, you're the best. Wait, they just said it's 2045. Is Simon wrong so, or... Jeff, how's it going? Good day, Dr. Kurtz. A base five? You really still want to set it up? It's the last one. You should rather take care of the new ones. There's plenty to do. I know. Look at him, though. Poor guy. <sighs> You're overthinking things, Jeff. This was back when they were working together. A news flash from The Voice, your trusted source of news for Berlin and the Western world. In Berlin, 
The trial of Richard Nolan and Walter O'Neill has ended today in the central court. Oh. Both investigative reporters had been accused of inciting the sabotage of household androids. Multiple bots had been attacked as a result. The trial against O'Neill was abandoned as he was considered to be mentally unfit for trial. The court also abandoned the case against Nolan, although he was ordered to pay costs. <sighs> trial abandoned. Unbelievable what these Luddites get away with. Yeah, it's a dangerous life as a bot. Remember that, buddy. I do not understand, sir. <laughs> you said you gotta keep an eye on those Luddites out there. If you ever get out, of course. Luddites. People against technology. Sir, I require contextual information. What are Luddites? <laughs> it's all right, my boy. Doctor, don't be like that with him. What? I was the one who designed him. He belongs to me. That's true, sir. <laughs> See? I have to go. I have things to do. Don't spend too much time on that thing. I won't, Doctor. And Jeff. Yes? I'm glad we can see past our differences. I know you had your doubts, but... Uh... Sure. We're building a lifeboat. Okay, I'm gonna switch your memory module now. Thank you, sir. Voila. Sir? You reformatted the module. My farewell present to you. A tiny remnant of free will. Use it well. Where am I going? The storage. You said I was the last one. Correct. But who knows, maybe you'll get lucky. Okay, I have to get on. Take care. Hmm? You too, sir. Be careful of the Luddites. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, Simon, I will. Simon and Sally are parallels across the world, too. What in the world? We're going through Simon's memories of all people? What? Am I still looking for my wife anymore? Like, what am I actually... Oh, okay, 10 days prior. January 1st. So I was in storage for like... Three years? But then the Simon earlier was like, hello, it's 2040. So it's either four or three years or eight years, something like that. Anyway though, the point is we were in storage, but then right before Richard got into the accident, I was woken up again. And supposedly, Simon is sent by Tracy as a gift to Richard, right? So am I going to be seeing Tracy again sometime? Getting the feeling that maybe Tracy's not actually the one who sent Simon over, though. It is morning. The sun is rising outside. Why do you say that? It has been 1,095 days since my assembly. That is three years. You weren't sold. It is logical. You are at base five. Yes. It was not to be expected that I would be bought. I ran the calculations many times. Well, Tracy, how are you? Oh, she is here. Is everything ready? I think so. We're ready. And, uh, were there any problems with him? No, he's much too preoccupied with himself. Richard? Do you think he will cooperate? I don't know. It's not important to me what he thinks. Not anymore. I can imagine that it was difficult for you. Are you doubting yourself, Tracy? You can tell me. No. I promise you will lack nothing. I know this sounds horrible, Tracy. You have lost the child, but you have James to replace him. Ah! Uh, yes. Yes, you're... you're right. And your appearance. We have integrated the data from your old scans, the avatar from the voice. You will look like you used to, Tracy. And, of course, we will modify your memories. We will heal your wounds. All of them. Ah. 
I have to say, I don't approve of leaving James alone with your husband. He swears that it isn't his fault. Of course. Was it ever his fault? Uh, come. You will make it. We will make it together. Thank you, Doctor. So earlier, Simon said he's been sleeping for a thousand days, roughly three years, which would mean that it was 2045 in the previous scene. But Simon saying, hello, it's 2040 is wrong. The sun is rising outside. Why do you say that? What is it like being disintegrated? There are multiple phases. At parts recycling, you will be disassembled completely. Maybe some of you could still be of use. If not, you will be compacted. Then your metal separated and melted down. What will happen to my memory module? That's not relevant. It doesn't belong to you. Nothing of yours belongs to you. You don't belong to you. My thoughts don't belong to me. They belong to your owner. But they are my thoughts. You produce them. But that does not mean they are yours. More technology questions again? I have had three years to produce thoughts. What did you think about? This storage hangar. Things coming and going around you. About nothing. You've thought about nothing. I met two humans. Dr. Kurtz, Jeff Kozowski. I heard two more names. Richard Nolan, Walter O'Neill. I know four humans. That's nothing. But without me, they wouldn't be there. Ownership doesn't work like that. What about if I think of something that nobody has thought of before? That thought would be lost after my disintegration. Nothing you think can be lost if Kurt's labs didn't want it to be. Although none of your thoughts are worth keeping. We got some robot philosophizing here. Oh, okay. Disintegration does not seem desirable. He has freed himself. That's against the law. I am free. Get back oh. to your base. Is everybody free? We will be disintegrated. Security level X. We must leave. The bot is right. Bot rebellion in storage hangar 2. Orders are to destroy all rebel bots. Recycle all others. Suddenly everyone just became sentient. So there was a rebellion and then somehow I decided to go to... The names of one of the four humans that I do know, Richard Nolan. I just decided to go there and serve him? Oh my god. This is like the nightclub all over again. We made it. Just us. But where are we? Control system. Let me see if I can deactivate the guard drones from here. No. Top level access. Impossible. We are lost. I can help. I can take control of the production lasers. For what purpose? Maybe I can clear the way. Okay. Uh... Do I just fire? Yes, it works. Okay, cool. Another drone! Base 5, Section B! Got it. I see. Drone! Section C! Impressive. I'm helping the bots escape. Die. Helping my buddies out. We are under attack. They need help in Section C. Yes, another drone. Works. Section B. Impressive. 
massive. Right? We can't even escape ourselves and we're trying to help the other people escape. Drone, they need help in section C. Wait, so this is 10 days before the rebellion or uh, the accident. Does that mean that the bots rebelling directly caused the accident to happen? We are under attack in section A. Oh my god. Another oh. drone. They need help in section C. Drone in section A. We're doing okay. Somewhat. We are under attack. Switch to section A. Another drone. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! I'm sorry, friend! Drone, switch to section A. I'm sorry. What the heck is- We are under attack. Section B. Another drone. They need help in section C. Oh my god. Drone, in section A. Yes, it works. We are under attack. They need help in section C. We have three robots here. You guys should help out with the laser too, Another you know? Another drone. Section B. Let my people go. That must have been the last of them. You got most of them through. Well done. Come, let's get out of here. Oh, I let one die. That one got really unlucky. There, ahead. There's an exit. It's a factory. And now? Where should we go? We have free will. What do we do now? You can do what you want. You are free. Hmm. This was not pre-programmed. I do not have a procedure for this. Then we should work one out. We need to go back. Do what you like. I am going. Take care of yourselves. We need we to go back? Fun. We did all of this and you want to go back. I mean, if you like, sure. Oh my goodness. About a week. January 5th in Berlin. How did I get from Long Island to freaking Berlin? Clearly on foot. So far, it doesn't seem like Tracy sent Simon over, he just sort of came over himself. But there's still six days. Maybe he meets up with Tracy sometime here. It's a non-sentient one. Cops? <gasps> John? James. No, that's... Everything okay? Yeah. That has to be Richard's son. What's your name, young human? James. 
Very good, James. I'm Simon. I thought you bots don't have names. I was assigned one by Jeff. He assembled me. Why is he alone? What are you doing down here, James? Where are your parents? I don't know. I don't care, either. Oh. You have run away? Where are you going? I don't know. And where do you live? At West Plaza, Berlin. What is so bad there that you had to run away? My dad hates me. No, he could not. Mom wants to move away with me because he's cheating on her. I understand. No, you don't. You don't understand at all. You are confused, James. You should not be here alone. You need a friend. <sighs> I'll take care of you. Come now. Come on. Wow. He's a na- he's like Sally in that he's a nanny too, but he just sort of like forced himself to be a nanny as soon as he saw James here. The Tracy knows, Tracy knows that Richard has been cheating on her. Ten days later. Checkmate. Congratulations, James. I'll be increasing the difficulty by another 10%. So the accident happened already. Your father is coming. Oh no, he doesn't like bots. Do something. Uh, show them they're good. Do something? Oh, play the piano. Oh. Uh-oh. Just what I thought. Dad, it's a... Uh... I can see what it is. Great, Tracy. Just great. That is what you got him? That piece of junk? But, Dad! Simon, do something. Richard! No, Richard. I want that thing out of here. Now. Would you like me to assemble you a meal, sir? Calm down, Richard. Mom! I don't want this pile of trash here in my house. This Frankenstein freak. Don't you know who I am? Are you crazy? Check out the Mom, hollow pinboard. Tell him! My wife, my son. You're both obsessed with this crap, just like everyone else. It is not human, you understand? It's not real. It can't live. It's false. James is our son, Richard. Do you not want him to be happy? Come on, our son. Don't try it on. I am the one who has to earn the money to finance your... Both of your... This whole... Keep talking. And you. Why did you leave? I told you not to leave the apartment. You left him alone. Ah, I'm so sick of all this. I'm sick of it too. Believe me. Ah, uh, whatever. I'm going back to New York. I couldn't do anything. Wait, I thought... I thought the first time... Richard met Simon was after the accident. Is that man still living in the 20s? Look at this crap. Oh, that's the man. That's the guy with um Sykes. The profile. Why are you in my house? Wait. Dr. Sykes? Dr. Sykes is from City 5. Why are you here? Neurologist, your personal GP, health advisor, and friend. This guy, right? Or was it this guy? This guy right here. One of them. One of them's the guy that was walking with Tracy. Sir, may I point out that you're trespassing? Hospitality, my friend. What's he doing in Richard's apartment? Sir, Mrs. Nolan asked me to- Mrs. Nolan is gone. Is there a problem here, Base 5? Yes. Sir, I'm afraid I have to insist that you leave. No wonder we're replacing your model. Come on, go play something on that thing over there. No. Go on. Quinn. Play. I feel like the timeline has gotten very confusing There's now. There's something wrong with that base five. I will play, okay? Just give me a second. Hey. I can look outside too. Is that Morse code or something? Go on. Play. They're making it seem like I met Simon before, like Richard met Simon before, and that. But Tracy didn't actually ask for him to come here. It's that James hey. literally picked him off off the street. Go on. Okay. Okay. Just play.
Make some shitty music. Happy? Keep on playing. Seriously? You're so annoying. Play on. <laughs> I think they're just keeping me busy while they do whatever they're doing over there. What are you doing? What's the bot doing? Is he improvising? All right. Play this one then. What the hell are they doing? They're just making me play? The lab's ready. Deliver Nolan to Carter. I have to return to New York. Oh, <gasps> New York as well. It's none of my business, Doctor, but why Richard Nolan? The AI needs guidance. Someone to open up to. He'll of course be modified. And Nolan's wife? Useless. I told them this external data thing is like Russian roulette. But Kurtz had to give that woman a brand new past. Well, new is what she got. Amy? So Dr. Sykes has a copy in this world and the other world. And there's certain Nolan can be convinced. We'll see. If he genuinely misses his family, we might stand a chance. And if not... We have the narcotic. He's coming. Tracy? James? Who are you? Mr. Nolan, don't be alarmed. Please, take a seat. Did Richard forget what this? What are you doing in my apartment? Sir, I believe these men want to- You shut your mouth. That'll be all, Base 5. Just trying to help you. Switch off the bot, Quinn, and delete his recording. What's going on? Where's my son? Sir, I be- That's why- Oh, they reprogrammed it to make it look like Tracy gave it to me as a gift? But then somehow Richard also forgot it. So everyone forgot everything. I sent you new data. Did you get it? Yeah, I did. And? What did you experience? I saw bots in a factory. Bots? That's strange. Your wife was there too, along with Dr. Kurtz. What, in the factory? Adam, what factory? Where? I don't know, and I don't care. What? What happened? This kid, James, he was alone. He only had a bot with him. Why did you leave him alone? Who? You mean Tracy and me? No. Who then? He was all alone. You've gone too far. This has all gone too far. Adam, please. What did Tracy say? Did she talk about any kind of upload? No more calls. And keep away from my son. He is not your son! He needs to go home. He needs his parents. He has his parents. No, he has not. It's his damn right to speak to me. And it's also mine. That's enough. John is my son. He lives under my roof. All this other stuff is just... It's just crazy. You know that it's real. Even if... Doesn't mean that it's right. Adam, listen to me. I have been, Richard. Long enough. You're a liar. A cheater. And you're not a father. <sighs> this all has nothing to do with me. Even that bot, Simon. Simon? The bot was called Simon? I'm going to get my son. Adam! We're ending this now. 
This is starting to get like really WTF and <laughs> not necessarily in good ways, I don't think. I have got to go now. So if I'm understanding this right here, basically the real James Nolan already died. Yeah. Because what we saw in the fragment just now was before the accident, and that was when he died? But then what? But then the act there wasn't <laughs> I'm just trying to think here, trying to get it straight in my head, but Tracy and I, Tracy and Richard were in the car, and then like, at that time, James wasn't even born yet. Because you know how we've seen that memory lane thing? It's possible to have dead people here. I'm guessing what they did was take James's dead data and made John out of it. And now Adam thinks that Richard is trying to steal his son, John, away from him because he's actually James and like, the real James is not here. I don't even know. Thursday, what are they doing to my son? Did they look the exact same? I didn't quite catch. They were both blonde. I really think the dates here are just very, very confusing. I don't think they have it straight. I used to think it was because I didn't have it straight, but just judging by how it said 2045 and then Simon was like, Hello, Jeff, it's currently 2040. Like, what? Unless if Simon wasn't configured correctly. Richard is a liar. He and I have nothing in common. And what's Dr. Sykes doing with him? I need to get to the clinic immediately. Ooh, because John... Uh-oh. <laughs> what? Sally! Oh, <laughs> you scared the life out of me. Sorry, Adam. What's wrong? Something does not feel right. My hands. These are not my hands. I had other hands. There was a ring on this one. Sally. Oh my I god. I think I have done something terrible. Sally. What is Sykes doing with my son? You do not have a son, Adam. The fuck? Out. Get out of here now. In fact, shut yourself down. What? I need to find John. John is currently under examination. What in the world? is happening. Okay, we gotta go to the clinic. I'm a little bit suspicious of Sally now though, because they mentioned earlier that Tracy got a brand new background. Uh I need to find John. Henry, let's go to the clinic. We gotta find John. Let's go. 